Your customers are too smart. If you have a garbage product, you are never gonna be able to sell it. Do you know how often entrepreneurs come to me with their ideas and what they do is they grab a little bit of this and a little bit of this and they try to throw Wi-Fi on something or they try to make something smart or they try to just combine two things but they don't solve real problems. If your product doesn't solve real problems, if it's not well constructed, if it doesn't feel good in their hands, your customers will know. They're not gonna recommend it, they're not gonna love it. It means that your reviews, those reviews that are so important for growing and scaling your business on Amazon or on Google or on other shopping platforms, you get yourself a lot of twos and threes. Marketing will make an amazing product go to the next level, but it's not gonna make a garbage product fly. You need an amazing product product. You need to believe in it. It needs to feel good in people's hands. Opening the box needs to be an experience. It needs to be able to solve a problem and last. And it doesn't need to be crazy fancy. It just needs to be thoughtful. It needs to be intentional and it needs to work. Marketing and messaging and tone will not save you if your product is garbage. And so your product has to solve real problems in real people's lives. It has to be great value and a great price. Now, when you have all of those things together, now we are in a position to build a brand that's gonna go to market. Because, because when we layer on top of an amazing product, thoughtful tone and position and purpose and the type of brand we wanna be, and we know what we're fighting for and what we're fighting against, when our brand stands for something and it hits people, now we can build something that will sell. You can do that off the backbone of an amazing product. Now we're in a position where we start to sell product, we're keeping people, we're building great reviews, we're building everything, the entire ecosystem we need to build. Do you honestly believe that your product is there? Is it at the level it needs to be to solve a real problem? You are looking to create something that truly helps people. That is the way to build a lasting brand. If you are excited about your product, if you are creating it for your own need, if you are doing something because you believe in it and love it and want to share it with the world, now you're in a position to build an awesome brand. Okay, so you're watching this video and you're asking yourself, well, Mark, how do I know if my product is good enough or not? Look at what people are saying. Listen to the complaints. Elicit feedback from people. And really, without getting defensive, without ignoring it, think about these things. Common areas to think about is how, how does it feel in your hand from a texture point of view, from a weight point of view, from a functionality or ergonomics point of view? Like just how does it hold up? Does it hold up to use or does it break? Next, you gotta think in terms of how your product stacks up relative to the competition, right? If people have a very similar product, even if it's cheaper and it's at a much lower price, then you're no longer relevant. So do you need to create a better version of your product? Do you need to be able to create something that feels better, that lasts longer, that's charged more, that has higher value, version two, version three, version four, whatever it is, right? You are competing against a lot of other people and you have a product that needs to be able to compete in terms of of how it's perceived in the value scale as well. And then we start to get into whether the packaging feels cheap or whether it makes sense, whether the, the plastic it might be wrapped in feels cheap or makes sense, the instructions, everything now starts to move out from like product itself actually out to brand play. You know, how is the marketing? How is the website? Uh, how is the customer service interactions? Is there a community built speaking about your product or how to use it? Those are things you wanna look at as well because at the end of the day, perception is truth. Think about you. Would you be your own customer? Are you solving for your own problems? Do you love your product? Like, do you love it? Or are you creating something for a group that you're not a part of? For a need that you don't have? Are you creating something at a price point you would never pay for? Do you have a brand and a feeling and a tone in our interactions with customers that are built around the type of things you hoped or dreamed or wished that other companies would do for you. That is the place that you wanna start. When we start our brand strategy, we start with the entrepreneur or the leader because they are the core, you are the core of your company, of your product. If you wanna create a lasting brand, you have better be creating something for yourself. So to wrap up, here's what you're gonna do. One, you're gonna look at your customer reviews, talk to people, and you're gonna be honest with yourself. Two, you're gonna look for areas of improvement with your product if it isn't good enough. Now if it is, you're gonna celebrate. This is amazing. 
You have a product that is literally amazing. Three, you're gonna start thinking about marketing strategy. What I want you to focus on is I really want you to scrutinize and think about whether your product is good enough. If it isn't, you're gonna fix it. And if it is, you're gonna celebrate. Are we ready? Yeah. If you wanna take your business to the next level by getting stronger at sales, at marketing, at branding, at speaking to people, at understanding your message, your purpose, and everything you need to do to crush it, well then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I release videos every day. Click on the bell icon so that way you can get the videos when they drop, or you can check out this video right over here. It will change your life.